Now, our first guest has been described as the perfect sportswoman. She's played in two Rugby World Cups and won seven consecutive Six Nations titles. No wonder they call her the machine. It's Maggie Alfonsi. <laughs> What have you brought in? Well, I've brought well, it's a rugby ball. Wow. A special rugby ball because I've signed it as well to you guys. Thank you so much. We're going to put Good it to you. in our uh, grotto of goodies just over here. Let's go and take a seat. Now, Maggie, you've uh, you've had a bit of an injury of late. I have, yes. Um, uh, and an operation last year, was that right? Yeah, I unfortunately had a knee surgery last year. Okay. Uh, so I've been out for almost 20 months now. So uh, oh. just getting back into it now. A bit boring to be out. It is a bit boring. I like watching rugby. Yeah. I'd rather, <laughs> rather play it. Okay, and what's, uh, what's the next big match uh, coming up? Yeah, next big match, we've got all Autumn Internationals. We're playing against uh, France and Canada in November on November 9th and November 13th. So, quite exciting times. Uh, so, on November the 9th, it's, it's live on Sky Sports. Live on Sky Sports. Big occasion for you. Yeah, and it's at Twickenham um, and it's free entry after the game as well. So, more people better to come and watch. Oh, oh, fantastic. Hope to make it down there. Okay, Darren, you have a question. Yes, what is it? Why did you choose rugby over all the other sports you could have done? Um, I chose rugby because uh, it's one of those sports where it doesn't matter what size you are, you can play it. And it's one of those sports where you can just run at pace but, and be really strong and not get in trouble for it. So I suited <laughs> it very well and I absolutely love it now and I haven't left it since. So, yeah, it's a great sport. Just tell us, Maggie, what it'll feel like. Um, we can all imagine it running out onto the pitch at Twickenham with all the audience, all the, the crowd watching you. Yeah, do you know what? Running out uh, and hearing the crowd shout your name potentially or yeah. shout in England, it's a, it's a very overwhelming experience because you just don't know how to handle it. But my, eye, my focus tends to be is getting out there, really focus on what I need to do and just play. But it's, it's really special when you've got a home crowd there because they're obviously supporting you and you feel like you've got another team member Definitely. out Definitely. I crowd. can only imagine the adrenaline. It must it's be exciting. amazing. It's very exciting. Okay, Darren, if you... Yeah, I've got a question from Isaac. What's your question? What, what did it feel yeah. like to be out injured for so long? Oh, good question. Um, it was really hard being out injured. So being injured is never good um, because you have to watch on the sideline and watch other people playing your position. But for me, I just concentrated on getting fit, thinking about rehabbing my injury really well uh, and just focusing on what I needed to do well. So now I'm back, I'm really happy, but I obviously don't want to get injured again. So touch wood, fingers crossed I won't get injured again. Yeah, definitely. Darren? You I'm, have another I'm, I'm here with Ben with his wonderful hat that keeps getting in the way. <laughs> <laughs> What's your question? Um, was it... Uh, did, uh, did it hurt getting tackled, like... Oh, do you know yeah. what? Getting does it hurt getting tackled? Yeah, like, I can imagine hurt. it does. Getting tackled does hurt a little bit, but because I'm prepared for it, I'm, I'm used to it. I like to make sure I make the big tackles, really. Um, but because you're so used to playing rugby and getting tackled all the time, it's not a problem. Yeah. And tell us about growing up, Maggie, because you had to overcome adversity, really. Yeah. Um, tell us about your foot, what happened? Yeah, I was born with a condition called club foot, so my right foot was completely turned all the way in. And mum had to make a decision to have an operation at a young age, uh, so I was in and out of hospital quite early um, to straighten my foot, really. And if it wasn't for that operation, I wouldn't be able to run correctly. So I'm very lucky, uh, and it's made me be quite focused, obviously, now I'm older, thinking, mm. actually, I could have you know, done something else, but actually, I've gone down the route of rugby and I've done really well. Yeah, fantastic. OK, Darren. OK, I'm here with Joshy. What's your question? Who is your inspiration and why? Oh, my inspiration. Um, when I was young, I used to really love following Muhammad Ali. Uh, you know, boxer, fantastic guy that he is. And more because of the fact he was always very confident and always knew, knew when to say the right things and also believed in himself. And that's what I try to do when I work with young people. Always believe in yourself and you always will achieve. Yeah, what would you say that rugby has done for you? What benefits have you got from it? Yeah, rugby's given me a lot. It's given me confidence. Um, and now when I play and when I, in my normal working life, I always feel confident in what I do. Um, it's also given me good social skills. So I learned to work with different types of people, uh, young or old. Um, and also it's allowed me to just enjoy myself and enjoy what I love doing and rugby that it is. Yeah.